dating advice. If you possess the 10 traits or qualities, you will be every lady's man and every lady will want to date you. Number 4 and 9 are very crucial to every woman. If you know and apply the tips, it will endear you to the ladies and make your dating simpler. And if you don't know or apply these tips, you may have many rejections from ladies in your dating lives. You may even miss your will have been dream wife. It may interest you to know that virtually every woman is the same or similar in terms of the kind of man they want or need for marriage. And when it comes to marriage or marital matters, women are highly intelligent and focused. They know what they want and they don't lose focus on it. And if you don't do this, or have them, or show the prospect of having them, sorry, you may never be able to win their love. They may never tell you this, but if you possess these qualities, you are their choice and dream. And they can never turn you down if you ever propose when and where they are searching. If you are new here, you are welcome. Hit the subscribe button so that you will be the first to receive our videos whenever they are published. Alright. If you possess or have these 10 qualities that we will be discussing today, you are every lady's choice. Number 1. If you are God-fearing. If you are God-fearing or the ladies are judge you to be God-fearing, your search for a goodly wife has been made easier. This is because every lady wishes to marry a godly or God-fearing man as her husband. To ladies, however, God-fearing meant a variety of things. It means to them a man who acts or who will live with them according to the biblical instruction of Colossians chapter 3 verse 19. It says, Husband, love your wife and do not be bitter towards them. And in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 25 to 31, where the Bible says, Husbands, love your wife just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Those are what women mean and understand as God-fearing. It also includes the man who has a conscience, who can love and tolerate them and treat them with honor and mother-like kindness, and who easily forgives whatever they do. After the order of Colossians chapter 3 verse 19, which says, Husbands, love your wife and do not be bitter towards them. This is what ladies mean and understand by God-fearing. If you show or prove to have these qualities, you are the lady's choice and they won't reject your proposal, except if they are not ready or they are already engaged. Number 2. If you can secure them or have the potential to do so. Ladies place a high value on security, and they love their security so much, and they dream of and desire a husband or a man who can supply or provide them with these securities. If you, as a man, demonstrate the ability to provide them with security or the prospect of being able to provide them, you will have earned their love and won their respect. And they will never eject you if you propose unless they are not ready or they are engaged. However, as previously stated on God-fearing, security and being secure also mean much more to ladies than just physical protection from harm or molestation. It as well, in addition to fiscal protection, include economic or financial security or protection. Ladies hate financial tension or embarrassment. They want a man who has the capacity or who has the prospect of having the capacity to supply them sufficiently. And any man who has this capacity or who shows the prospect of having it is ladies' best. Even though it could be true that they may not expect you to be the richest man on earth, but they expect you to be able to provide for their necessities in abundance as they will want it. This is supported by the scriptures. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 8, the Bible says, But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has denied his faith and is worse than an unbeliever. And ladies do understand this. So if you have this capacity or show the prospect of having it, ladies won't reject you. 
all things being equal. Number three, if you know how to approach them, ladies want you to be the one wooing them. They want you to be or appear to be the one who needs them and is therefore pursuing them and not the other way around. And if you don't take this role, you may miss her even though she may want you. This is because most women see it as being courageous and the evidence of manliness. This is distinct from womanizing because ladies despise womanizing and being womanizers. It simply means that ladies believe that the man should bear the burden of wooing a woman. And as such, if you don't make the move or the advance, you may miss your ideal woman. Even though she may love you and wish that you marry her, but what she may not do is to ask you for it. The most she could do is to indicate that she doesn't hate you. This is because she believes that asking for it is self-delusion and a reduction of her world as a woman. And many times even when you ask, she might posture a lack of interest but that isn't a refusal. But usually either to test your seriousness or suggest that you should do more in wooing her as a proof of your commitment. And if you leave, you might miss her even if you were her desire. Yes. And the Bible supports this. In the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22, New King James Version, the Bible says in verse 22, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. That means that men are the ones who find and not the other way around. So they are right by expecting you to come and find them. And when you have found one, I advise, don't assume she is supposed to know, maybe through your action or behavior. No, she doesn't have to know, because assumption could lead to disappointment, and most ladies well understood this. Just define your mission, that is, propose to her. It is for the good of both of you, and in proposing, you must use languages that shows respect to her. For instance, don't say things like, uh, marry me, or I want to marry you, to her. Because she may interpret it to mean that you are proud or bully, or that you have no respect to her choice, opinion, or interest. Instead, in proposing, ask her if she could marry you, or you can say things like, can you marry me? Number four have some sense of humor and be funny. Ladies love funny guys that can make them to laugh from time to time. They also love men who are creative in the way they do things and say things. If you possess this quality or show the prospect that you will possess it, then you are most ladies choice. And number five, be confident and be favor in your approaches and in your conversations. If you are civil and they bold and they confident as you speak or you talk with her, it enhances your chances of winning her. Ladies like the bold and the confident guys. So in your words and then your approaches to her, be bold and the confident. This can help you gain her love and also get a desirable response from her when you eventually propose to her. Don't walk to her cowardly or timidly. Women generally don't like men without nerve. Even the scripture prescribes or forbid the cowardice. In, in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, New King James Version, verse 8, it says that the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and the all liars shall have their part in the name which bonds with the fire and the green stone, which is the second death. And the number three, the physically presentable, great beauty and the well and the confidence. Men with the physical strength, good height, and the great blue have some advantages over those without it. If you possess some kind of physical muscular fitness that is the fitting of a man, tall and handsome, you have some advantages over those who don't possess these. And most ladies will reject you or resist you, all things being equal. It is not necessary that you must be Mr. Bones or Macho Man or Beauty Personified or a Giant 
No, but just a kind of masculine physique with a touch of comeliness or a quality of being attractive or pleasing in appearance and a moderately tall. That is all that ladies want. And number seven, if you have some special talents or you are talented in some special areas, you are the choice of most ladies. Ladies love and they are attracted to great talents. And if you have or possess one, you will always be their choice. For example, if you possess some exceptional talent, your skills in music, in sports, in movie making, etc., you are for sure the choice of most ladies. And the scriptures support this. It says in Proverbs 18, verse 6, 16 rather, A man's gift makes room for him, and they bring him before great men. And number nine, if you are generous, being generous enhances your chances of getting attracted to ladies. As a general rule, all ladies they love gifts, and they love men that are generous. If you are a giver, you are more likely to gain her positive notes if you ever propose to her than when you are not a giver or when you are stingy. In fact, women by extension hate stinginess and the men that they are stingy. And the number nine, you must be affectionate or show that you possess the potential of being, becoming affectionate. That is what ladies call romantic. It's a very simple word. It is all about showing care and the kindness to them, being empathetic to them and their understanding the feelings and the needs at all times and the acting as right or as expected of you. Ladies generally like a child kind of love or child kind of kindness and an in-depth understanding of the feelings and the needs at every point in time will always draw them closer to you. Concerning this, the scripture says in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 10, be kindly affectionate to one another with the brotherly love in honor giving preference to one another. And again in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 3, the scripture says, let the husband be rendered to his wife the affection to for her. And likewise, also the wife to the husband. So those are all that the ladies look for in the would be ideal man for husband. God bless you and thank you for listening. Thank you so much for watching our videos. What do you think about this video? Tell us in the comment section below. We would like to give you another interesting video to watch this. But before then, our team will appreciate it if you could like this video subscribe and share it with your loved ones and friends on social media look at your screen now you all see two videos and pay for you to enjoy next god bless you